I'm at the 2025 Western Australian Livestock Research Council Livestock Matters event and I'm talking to Brad Cups about some fantastic new fencing and it, what it's meant for his mixed grain and grazing operation. Brad, how are you, mate? How you going, Tim? <laughs> and I'm excited to be talking to you because you're using some great new for Australia technology and it's making a big difference to your operation. It has, mate. Yeah, yeah. No, look, we're, we've been really excited. Um, it was a bit of anticipation to get into them a, with a few hurdles to, to start with. But, um, yeah, this is our second year of operation with the um, Gallagher eShepherd system. And, um, yeah, we're really happy with it. So we're talking virtual fences. We're talking mm. collars around your livestock mm. that teach them to behave in a manner that utilises your pasture the best. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so they're a um, solar-powered, uh, rechargeable collar that hangs off the animal's neck that mostly they respond to audible tones to um, contain, them, contain them to where we want them. Um, the chains will give a, a small vibration and zap if they need to, but it's very mild. And um, for us, it's been a, a really beneficial. We're, we're predominantly broadacre grain growers and yep. uh, we've got a um, yeah, the most efficient way with uh, that system is pulling fences out, but we uh, we also have some lower production country that's not viable to be cropping year in year out. So that's why we have a, a livestock element to our business, and um, the collars have allowed us to integrate and intensify um, a hell of a lot more than we have, and, and still have a a better profit outcome with the system, and um, and and by far a better um, environmental outcome as well. A wise person once said to me that the moment we decoupled plants from animal production systems, we started going down the wrong track. Mm. You're finding that you're utilising your cattle a lot more in your grain growing areas now? 100%, yeah. The, the ironic thing that we found is that the collars are, uh, are probably a better grain growing tool in the fact right. that we're, this year for 2025, we've planted um, a lot less uh, winter pasture as such, whether that be ryegrass or, or barley. And, um, and gone with the crops that are uh, better off for our cash flow system, such as wheat. We're going to graze a lot more wheat. And, um, and in those dirty areas of wheat, um, we will cut silage and, and, and use that as part of the system as well. So you, you're insulating yourself from market shocks by having varied income sources and having a multitude of income sources off the property. Yeah. Where do you see the future going? Are you going to keep pulling fences out and keep investing in collars? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I think there will be a limit to what fences we pull out. Um, we're not going to pull all of them out. They, they still have a, a fit, particularly boundary fences. And, um, you know, the, while the carbs aren't getting fences, there will be some um, lack of control on that system. But if, if we can get the 90% the right, we'll, we'll be happy. But we will certainly keep um, investing and, and involving ourselves with the collars. Um, the approach is to be able to grow more grain off the same amount of country whilst in increasing our stocking rate and until we find the, the correct balance between the two. Um, the advantage with the two is that, um, you know, markets will always change. We don't have a lot of say over that, but uh, where there's no substitute for, for production. And if we can push the production system on, on both sides, then um, we've got a product to sell. Now you mentioned that you've been grazing some pretty poor land that's not suitable for cropping. Are you finding that you're utilising that poor land much better and has there been any improvement to it? Yeah, it's probably a little bit early to, to say yet, but I, I, would have, I would have thought so in the fact that um, we're, we're a very variable soil type um, system. So what the collars allow us to do is on that lesser country, um, put exclusion zones in on the real, real poor soil type. So they might only get a, a, a very short window of grazing, which still stimulates root growth and, and plant growth on that country, but doesn't allow the foot traffic to, to overly bear that off. And um, I guess with our, our cropping background of, of growing strong, healthy plants that, um, that, that might not have the water holding capacity within the soil type to, to finish to grain, we're still growing a better biomass on some of that soil type that we've, um, we've got a better mechanism of harvesting with our cows. So your collars are growing soil and you're profiting from it. That's right, yeah. Mate, it's been fantastic to talk to you about it. It's <laughs> Thanks, great mate. to talk to an innovator. And if you want to find out more about the Gallagher e Shepherd system, there's a link in the description. And get on to the team here at the Western Australian Livestock Research Council. If you're not already a member, get involved. Brad, it's been fantastic to spend time with you, mate. Thank ah, you very much. Thanks for your time, Tim. Cheers, mate.